Remove power from the unit. Disconnect the suction line. Turn the sampler upside down to access the distributor arm on sequential samplers or float cage on composite samplers. Remove the distributor arm nut and remove the tubing from the distributor arm. Turn the sampler right side up and pull the pump tubing out of the center section. Loosen the thumb screws and remove the liquid detector cover as well as the pump housing cover and remove the old pump tubing. Remove pump tubing from the tubing coupler by pulling or using a utility knife. Replacement tubing is available in bulk rolls of 10 feet and 50 feet lengths. Each bulk roll includes an instruction sheet that shows you how to properly measure, mark, and cut your replacement tubing depending on the sampler model and the specific bottle configuration. Follow the instructions for your specific sampler model and bottle configuration to determine where to mark the replacement tube. Starting at one end, apply the first installation mark. Then measure to the second installation mark. And finally, measure and mark the overall length of the replacement tube. After the installation and overall length marks are in place, Cut the tubing at the overall length mark. After reattaching the tubing coupler to the new pump tubing, carefully align the pump tubing past the liquid detector and into the pump rollers. It can be helpful to manually rotate the pump rollers to best align the new tubing. Reinstall the liquid detector cover and the pump housing cover and feed the remaining tubing down into the center section. Turn the sampler upside down and feed the new pump tubing through the distributor arm so that the end of the tubing is flush with the end of the distributor arm. If the pump tubing extends past the distributor arm, it may contact the bottles and cause a distributor jam. Position the distributor arm into place and secure with the distributor arm nut. Turn the sampler right side up and reapply power. To reset the tubing counter, press the Enter key, then use the arrow keys to select Configure, then press Enter. Press the left arrow key until you see Tubing Life, then press Enter. The current pump count limit is displayed. Press Enter and then select Yes to reset the pump counter. To test the pump operation on the new tube, press the buttons on the control panel to run the pump in both forward and reverse for several seconds. To test the distributor, press the next bottle button several times and then listen for the distributor arm to actuate. Turn the unit upside down and verify that the distributor arm moved properly and the pump tubing is not kinked. Pump tube replacement is now complete.